Hey there, everybody. This is Adam Zunnel at the Mountain East Conference. Please be joined now by Carly Allen from Virginia Wise. Carly is a uh, standout volleyball player. Uh, the Cavaliers 10-4 and four in the Mountain East Conference as the uh, volleyball tournament is looming in a couple of weeks. But Carly, first, some things to take care of here this week in the, uh, to end the regular season. Tell me a little bit about how the season has gone for the Cavs. Um, so far, we've started off pretty well. Um, at home, we obviously play better. On the road, we've tended to struggle a little bit. But going into the, these last uh, two games, we really need to take these wins. But overall, I think our season's done pretty well, and I'm pretty pleased with our results so far. It, it, you are on the road this weekend at Fairmont and Shepherd. Uh, so tell me a little bit about you know the challenge and focus of you know really trying to get things turned around on the road. Um, this week we've definitely been practicing hard going into these next two games, but um, pretty much our mindset is just to go out and play whenever we play our game and stay disciplined in our like skills and in our game strategy. We always end up being successful. We just have to make sure that we don't let our frustrations get the best of us, and that's normally our biggest challenge. When, when things are going well for UVA Wise out on the court, what's it look like? And then when things maybe aren't going so well, what are some of the, the roadblocks and obstacles that you guys have to kind of deal with? When things are going well, you can just tell by just the energy on the court. Everyone's excited, everyone's smiling, like having a good time doing this, like the thing that we love. And everything's in system, our blocks are closed, we're getting good digs, we're just, it just looks like good volleyball. Whenever things start to break down is when you see kind of the energy and our faces change and that's whenever we have to kind of just bring it back in the middle and kind of just say okay like do what we know how to do and that's whenever we begin to see like the shift back to the energy on our side. Everything else seems to just fall back in place once we take a second to just like get focused back I guess. Do you, how much responsibility do you feel for you know when you're in the middle and then you're bringing it all together, being the one that says, "Look, you guys got we got to all raise it collectively." How much pressure do you feel, you know, to be the one that does that? Um, it's definitely my job to do that, and sometimes it is hard because I'm a very competitive player, and when I'm not doing well, then I get frustrated in myself, and it, that's pretty obvious for everyone to see too. But being here and like. The longer I am here, I accept that role better, and I've definitely transitioned into that role better. So I kind of just have to sit back and tell myself, like, okay, think of the big picture. And when I think of the, the bigger picture, I realize, like, that is my job. And it's easier to do that because my main thing is for every, like, I want us to win. And I know that in order for us to win, that's something that I have to do. So tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, the conference tournament coming up here in a little bit and, and you know, what kind of a goal was it to get to the tournament? And now, obviously, you're playing for some seeding. So, tell me a little bit about you know the motivation to you know to advance to to the tournament. Um, I think in the past years we've kind of been underlooked, and because of that, like I think last year we should have gone to the tournament, but we kind of just fell apart at the end. But this year, there's it's like been a it's been good to just be able to come out and win games and have a good like a good chance of going into the tournament in a good place. But going into the tournament, I think that we have the mindset that we just, there's no more time to mess around. There's no more time to be frustrated. There's no more time to let anything else besides what we need to do be our focus. And I think going into the tournament with that mindset, I think that we will come out successful. Certainly no one is, is, is pleased with a loss. And based on our conversation, as competitive as you are, you aren't either. But can you get any kind of confidence from being one of the, you know, the only team to take a set from Wheeling Jesuit over the last two years? Yes, <laughs> honestly, going into the game, we were like, let's just take a step from Wheeling, like, no one's ever done it, and I think that going into the set, we didn't really, we kind of doubted ourselves, because in the first game, we came out, and, like, maybe it was, like, them being on the road, whatever, but we should have taken that first set from them, and we didn't, and then we took the second set, but the thing is, is that we play, we have a lot more potential than we play up to. So yeah, while that's a great accomplishment, it's still also disappointing at the same time that we didn't take advantage of the first set. But it is definitely something to be like proud of, especially looking at our past record. All right, now tell me a little bit. I think I'd mentioned that you were a senior before. You're, well, I'm not trying to get you out of there any sooner. You are a junior. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> so I'm, I'm certain everybody you your eyes is panicky. No, no, we got her for another year. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, obviously all the career milestones that you've already hit, uh, you know, 1,000 kills and the first player to do several things. I, and I know, you know, winning is really what you're there for. But, you know, have you had a chance to kind of put some of those accomplishments into perspective? 
honestly, I try not to think about it just because I feel like if I get caught up in that, then I won't focus on the main goal of like the team and winning and how we're going to finish in the conference. And that's really why I play volleyball. I don't play volleyball for the records. While they are great and I am like definitely proud of those accomplishments, it's still not what drives me, I guess. All right, so I was uh, doing, of course, following up a little bit on you, and uh, af- of course, you're very athletic. Now, what is the st- story with you perhaps pursuing cheerleading as well? <laughs> well, actually, my best friend and my roommate is on the cheer team, and she's a senior this year. And we were kind of just like joking around, and I wanted to like get a back handspring just because why not? And so <laughs> I got it, and then I was like trying to do like a round off back handspring, and then I was like kind of getting that, and then I was like, well, you know what? Like, why don't I just cheer? Like, why don't I just cheer basketball games? Because, I mean, we're not in season; we still practice and stuff, but it wouldn't be a big conflict. So I figured, well, why not? <laughs> so, so this is something you're doing for the next year. Do you have any like gymnastics training or anything like that in your house? You just walked one- out and just like did a back handspring, like no big deal. Well, I cheered one year in high school, but it wasn't like serious or anything. But I just. I mean, she owns like a cheer gym, and so I've like went with her a couple times there, and I just, I don't know, I like doing new things and trying different things, and it's like a challenge, and I like that. It's something I've never done, so. Now, this may be a little bit of a stretch, but, you know, if you are if you have to be vocal, you know, as a cheerleader and have that energy, is there any sort of translation that you can take to volleyball in, in terms of, you know, you're talking about the energy to the team, or is that just, just trying, me trying I mean, to connect? I mean, if you with? ever watch me on the court, you could probably... No, like when I told everyone I was cheering, they weren't surprised at all. They were like, I could definitely see that because I am very energetic on the court and I'm always like screaming and yelling and jumping around. But um, I think maybe it could transfer. (laughs) All right. And so, you know, last question again, trying to bring things back here as you all prepare for the tournament. What are some things that you're working on? Maybe, you know, you mentioned the energy, but tactically wise, you know, when you go to practice, what are, what are some things that you guys are trying to sharpen up on as you, as regular season comes to a close and then heading into the tournament next week? Um, main thing is that we're focusing on is just being more consistent on our blocks, which is like getting our blocks set, closing our blocks, working hard to really like transition off the net because whenever we make good attacks, we are normally successful in doing so. And last thing is serve receive because if you can't serve receive, then you can't possibly put a good attack against another team, and then they're just going to come back at you. So I feel like the things that we're really working on is our blocking and just serve it like serve receive passing. All right, Carly, that's all I have for you today, Junior Carly Allen. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Uh, best of luck uh, the in the regular season and the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you.